another day and on the job. I'm gonna blow some shit up. Yahoo. And as you can see, it's not real, real warm, but it's not awful. It is pretty damn nice outside. But spoiler gonna rain its ass off this fucking weekend. One minute to blast. I was gonna go to a car show. It's close to my hometown. And I don't think I'll be going now because it's gonna rain its ass off. And when you got rain like that, it's a, it's a maple festival in Pennsylvania over here. When it rains its ass off, cars aren't gonna show up. People aren't gonna walk Very around fast do the fucking rain all day, so. All right, 30 seconds till the smoke show here. Till the fucking dust flies. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. A boom. Yeah. Just enough to make the dirt dance around. That was about it. Fuck. Come on, guys. Fucking get with it. Blow some shit up. Jesus Christ. Well, that fucking definitely licked some balls. So, yeah. I was hoping good car show weekend here We're like one of the first of the of the season for it um, it's a maple festival in Myersdale Pennsylvania um, they had part the part of it last weekend but it, there was no car show last weekend they started it last weekend and it's supposed to continue this weekend I guess I guess it was I don't think it goes through the week I, I don't know how that works over there I couldn't tell you, but anyway, it's, um, it's something they do every year. They've done it for a hundred fucking years, and it's just an annual thing. Um, they didn't have it when COVID was around. It was the only year they didn't have it, but there's supposed to be a decent car show. It'll be cars that you don't really see often. All right, turn That's up, why I like going to that one, so... Yeah. But I have a feeling it's going to be a washout. Yeah, because healthy. every fucking weekend I have off. Which right now they cut ours back here at work. They took our Saturdays yeah. away for now. Because of the Audi just power plant. We're supposed to not work Saturdays uh, for an undisclosed period of time. They haven't decided that yet. So... Um, now it'll rain every fucking weekend that I have time to do shit, so. What else is new, right? Right? <laughs> oh, my. Yeah. It sucks. But, anywho. <clears throat> I will see what happens. <clears throat> I even caught word of a, uh, a, uh, show at a local bar there, not too far away from, uh, my house. It's having a couple of dancers running around with their boobies hanging out. I was thinking about going to that. It's ten dollars a head for that. All clear. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm out of steam, Cal. Uh, the bar is so small where they're having it at. You won't be able to get in the cocksucker anyway. So go forward, Mike. I'm behind you. They're all a bunch of inbred fucks over there in that town, anyhow. You know, it'll be a set of titties that they, they'll get to see other than their sisters. So. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to that or not. Probably not, because I, I can't really drink anything. I have a commercial driver's license. And finding yourself a designated driver is kind of a rare thing. So, anyhow. Got to go back to work. They cleared the shot. We are ready to go. So... 
Here we go. Here we fucking go. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. I feel like hammered shit today. Eat a couple of carbohydrates last night. It was leftover pizza. Didn't agree with me too good today. I don't know why I do that. I don't know why I don't learn my fucking lesson about that shit. Alrighty, everybody. Catch you on the next one. About a steep cap. Yes, folks, as you guessed it, it is Friday. I'm off today for, well, I, I know, I know the reasoning for that, but uh, regardless, it's, it's the weekend, and look, it's raining its ass off, of course. It's going to work on the 84... Uh, the electrical system again, the 84C10. I actually got the steering column straightened up. Um, I had a brain fart the last time I was working on it. And I could not figure out why the steering wheel, every time I touched it, the horn was going off. Well, I forgot to put a vital part in that. There's a ring. Because there's a spring in there. A big old yellow spring. It's heavy duty. <clears throat> and there's a green plastic ring that's for your horn. It carries the wire connection out to your steering wheel. It rubs on this piece of metal that sticks out of the column for the horn. Because it's got like a brass looking copper or whatever the fuck it is on the back of it. It rubs against it to make the connection. Anyway. And then there's a steel ring a big one that goes over that and you're supposed to compress that and put a snap ring over it so i for some reason had a brain fart and couldn't figure it out but i figured it out the other night so it is working i actually have the wire coming up through there i can take the wire and just touch it onto the column or onto the to the nut that holds the steering wheel on it and the, the sound, the horn will sound, which is, it <laughs> sounds pretty fucking sick. I mean, not sick in a good way, sick in a I'm more the fuck out way. I've never heard a horn sound like this one. It sounds like somebody's running over a fucking cat when you're hitting it. But anyhow, I wanted to get the, uh, everything straightened up on it to, um, get it, uh, roadworthy, at least, uh, to get all my signals and stuff working, all my lights working. That's a big thing because you know you never know when you're going to uh, uh, get caught out at nighttime somewhere with it. You know, and you turn the left turn signal, and all the all the fucking signals blink. So you have the four ways on. But uh, I was informed that it was a ground that I need an extra ground on my set of wires. The ones on the front have four on them. They have four wires spurting off those fuckers and they work fine on the front. Except that when it's all linked together it, it all malfunctions. But without the switch on, or with just the switch on and not the headlights on, they work properly. But as soon as you add the lights Everything just goes to shit. So, I was informed that it is a ground. I have one ground on the taillight harness. And I will add another or several, depending on how much it's going to take. There's none on the passenger side rear. For some reason, I don't know why there isn't. But this truck here, this 71 I'm leaning on right now, it has several grounds on the taillights so we're going to go ahead and go that route and we're just going to ground the fuck out of those taillights on the back of that truck 
But anywho, I was over here. Nothing to do. Sit the fuck around. And watch goddamn TV. Um, everything in here is well, pretty much ship shape. And plus, I'm not. I'm not going to buy anything right now because, uh, shit. I, I can't really buy anything because uh, I got my hours cut back. Um, <clears throat> just going to go ahead and let things slide for a couple of weeks, I guess. And, uh, we're going to see what happens because my, my workbench is so clean back there. I might just run around here, clean this shithole up a little bit. Uh, and I got some, uh, horns over here on the floor. I just may try those on that truck. So, anywho, we're going to do that shit uh, sometime. Whenever it fucking decides to dry up and I'm going to take the Chevelle for another Jag. Um, uh, the last time I had it out, I did make it to the gas station with it. And uh, I got it's got about a half tank of gas, uh, 92, because it don't want to run nothing else. But what's weird, I was looking up the other day, because I was wondering about Octanes. Uh, I started asking Google on there if you if you mixed the gas at the pump. See, you took some 87 and mixed it with 92 or 93. What would you have when you're done? And the answer was 91. Like, what the fuck? How could it be 91? I don't understand. I don't know how they're getting that. But I, I guess, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a uh, chemist. I'm not uh, uh, a fucking mixologist or whatever the fuck they call those people. I think a mixologist is somebody like a, like a fancy uh, designation for a bartender. But anywho... Um, I'm just sitting in here. We they cut us back to four tens. We're still getting forty hours a week at least. No overtime. That's where I make all my fucking money at. It's overtime, man. Jesus Christ. Uh, the power plant is on an outage, which affects my job a little bit. Well, a lot right now because they got a lot of stuff down there fucked up. We had a real bad cold spell for. Like, uh, they're around Christmas time this year. Well, it would have been 22. We had a really bad, um, freeze. It was like a, a freeze that, like, came overnight. And it was so fucking cold. I mean, like, 30 below zero cold. And those power plants, they use a lot of water in their fly ash to keep the dust down, stuff like that. And he used that water year-round regardless of the temperature. And it got pretty cold there. Some stuff froze up and it virtually exploded down there at the place. So uh, they had to <clears throat> tear some stuff apart. They were, they were supposed to do it a month ago, but they postponed it for some reason. I don't know why. But uh, they had a shitload of contractors setting up down there. Because that's what they do. They uh, use contractors to work, to fix that stuff. They'll call contractors in. Plus, they have their own workers there. Whatever their own workers working at the power plant can do, they will pull them and have them do things. But while they're on an outage, usually they burn natural gas. Which uh, is not as hot, but it, it'll it'll provide you with some power for... Uh, the duration of the shutdown and they have so much coal down there that they can't take anymore so they quit taking it they told people they told all these other companies along with us that we uh, are not accepting any deliveries for now y'all got to uh, adjust accordingly so we were 
we're going to see if there's any trains. If they load any trains. Um, I heard there was four. I could be mistaken. I heard there was four next month. That means bonus money for all of us that work there. Uh, which he has a lot of employees. So that's a lot of money he shelled out. But, uh, of course, you know, they always threaten you. Yeah. Oh, boy. It's after 2 o'clock in the afternoon and I'm sleepy. It usually hits me about the same time every day. So, anywho. Um, <clears throat> we're going to be on shortened time. For a little bit, which sucks because that means no extra money uh, to do some things. But I need to, I need to get some parts for the truck here. Um, I did order a fuel pump for the Chevelle. I ordered the same kind that's on it. I wanted a real nice Holly pump, but I will get one later. I just ordered another Mister Gasket uh, electric fuel pump for it, just to replace the one that's on there. The one that's on there is working pretty good. I smeared a little silicone around the wire to hold it in place. Um, it's the heavy-duty gasket stuff, the stuff that forms gaskets. I put that on there. I got it zip-tied to the fuel line. They're all secure, away from everything. It can't pull out, but you never know. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But anywho, everybody, uh, <clears throat> I was on uh, my Facebook fucking around, and I had another scammer on there. I accepted her friend request. And of course, they always ask you, where are you located? Where are you located? Babe, you're so good looking. Where are you located? Oh, God, I want to suck your cock. Oh, ooh. And I'm like, mm, I told her, where's where's living, and um, oh really? I live there too. I'm like, oh, do you? I bet you fucking do. So, I'm chatting with this person, sending me pictures of her boobies and all that other stuff. Gave me an address. Was, uh, down here in town. I was like, really? Hmm. I'm betting you're probably two great big fucking guys that don't like to work. And as soon as I come down there, you're going to beat the fucking shit out of me and take my money away from me. But I was getting to that part. So, strung her along for a couple days, you know, bullshitting her, you know. Because I have no intentions of doing any fucking thing because it's just bullshit. It's pointless. So I like to string them along, along and fuck with them and, you know, do shit to people. Um, mainly the scammers. I fuck with people I work with all the time. But, you know, it's it's all a big joke. We just call each other fags and stuff. But uh, this girl, I was like, well, surely if you can show me your boobies. I said, you can show me your scamper too. Oh, no, baby. When we meet up, I'll show it to you then. Okay. I said, so how much are we talking here? What, what are you going to, what's this going to cost me? Oh, if you come meet me at my house? $50 for an hour. You know as long, as much as I do, everybody. You ain't going to last no hour. I <laughs> give a fuck who you're with. <laughs> Unless it's somebody that looks like Pat off Saturday Night Live. Got one of them chasing me, too. <clears throat> I, I don't have anything against anybody, but if they're not attracted to you, there's nothing you can do. But anyway, I'm just, I'm not looking. I'm not out looking. I'm out being an asshole, fucking with these people, because it's, it's fun. It's entertaining, and when, you know, you're bored, and uh, you're bouncing around in equipment all day. It's fun to fuck with people on your phone. But now we got a restriction on that too. We're not allowed to have our phones out anymore. Unless we're sitting 
waiting. I'm gonna have to put them away. Can't be driving. Holding for. Give me down here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm on your side of the road. I can't do that no more. They put a restriction on that. And if we're caught doing that, get rode up. And so many rode ups, they just fire your ass. So. I'm just comfortable with leaving mine in my fucking shirt pocket and not touching it all day long. But if I sit for an undisclosed period of time, I will get it out and look at it. So, anyway, I'm like stringing this person along. You know, giving them pretty much the same falsehoods that they're giving me, but in a different way. Um, oh my God, I can't wait to meet you, baby. I'm going to suck your dick off. And I would say, oh, I'm going to, you know, eat your pussy or whatever. Great. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, baby, I can come to your house, but it's going to cost you $100 an hour. By the way, how are we, how, how am I supposed to compensate you for this? How am I doing this? And you guessed it. The magic word gift card I need a gift card why why do you want a gift card it isn't cash just as good oh no no gotta have a gift card that's how we do this here okay gift card it is I was like but it's gonna be like 50 bucks okay whatever you want baby and whenever she'd say the word awe, it ended with an N every time. I'm like, hmm, this is an automated system. She kept saying the same thing over and over, too. And it didn't make a lot of sense. Punctuation was off. Uh, forming sentences was very poor. Um, I don't know, I'm probably dogging you all to death with this horse shit. I talk about it a good bit because it happens a good bit. And, you know, you see all these people getting arrested um, for these Ponzi schemes and stuff and in the stock market and, and people trying to push uh, cryptocurrency. They're all getting thrown in jail now because it's fraud. But you would think these other people committing fraud and scams on Facebook and Twitter and uh, Instagram would be in jail or have to pay hefty fines for being, you know, con artists. But now it's like nobody cares. Nobody gives a fuck. No, it's okay. And uh, I ended up blocking this person because, you know, after they said the magic words, plus, oh, when you get that gift card, let me know. And then you could just give me that. The number over the phone because I have to take payment ahead of time. Right. It's always customary to pay for something and, you know, off somebody. It's always customary to pay for a service first and not receive it. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, well, give me a hundred bucks. I'll be there Tuesday. And then the motherfuckers don't show up. That's what this is. This is a scam. So, if some chick on there comes up to you and flashing her boobies and saying how she loves you, if it's too good to be true, if it sounds too good to be true, it is too good to be true. But people are so fucking dumb today. It, it's, it's, like, it's like the movie Idiocracy. Do you, do you like money? You like money, don't you? Oh, yeah, I like money. <laughs> That's how that movie is. People are so, are such morons that they, uh, the, the people are just as bad that are scamming you than the ones that are getting scammed. They're just as dumb. So if you have any brain between your fucking ears, you would know that these people are, they're, they're ultra fucking stupid. They don't, they don't really know how to scam you properly, but they're trying to scam you. They're doing their best. God, they're doing their best to try and scam you. Oh, please give me a chance. Please, please. 
But anyhow, I blocked the bitch. It wasn't even a woman anyhow. It's probably some guy in his mom's basement checking on the chat every once in a while because I don't I don't know how they, they set up this uh, automated system that they're trying to fuck everybody with. I don't understand how it works or how you even get something like that to start with and get it fired up and going. It just constantly watches and, and it just it's it's a it's like a vicious cycle. It just keeps manifesting and going over and over and it keeps saying the same things over and over and over and over. So, but anyway, um, I'm going to try to get spacers for the wheels on this truck. Um, to change the lug pattern, <clears throat> I need a set for an eight lug Chevrolet. I want to neck it down to six lug Chevrolet, four wheel drive. Um, just on the back because I got this parts truck up here. And it's got a real nice set of tires on it, and the wheels are nice. I want to take all those off. I'm not quite sure what the fuck I'm going to put on it. Uh, so it at least stays on wheels. Ugh. So I'm going to have to uh, figure something out. Find a junk set of wheels or something and put on the bastard so... I can uh, have the tires off of it and wheels because when I wear out one set, I can put them on the other set on the back and wear them out later too. And plus, I want to I want to get a spool for this truck. Um, I can get a spool for this corporate uh, GM 14 bolt for the back. They sell they sell uh, spools. That would be the easiest. That way, I don't have to shim anything any different. And GM. When they set up a rear, it's pretty simple anyhow. It just has two big thick shims on each side. And you just replace them more or less. So, we're going to do that. But those spacers are not cheap. They're like, I think they're like a hundred and some bucks for a set of them. Or two hundred dollars. I forget. I might be wrong. I have to look them up again. It's been a long time since I looked at them. I found a set... That uh, turns a, an eight lug suburban into a six. Same difference. Same fucking thing. So, but anyhow, I don't really have anything different to say to anybody. Other than uh, we're waiting on the machine work get, to get done on the GTO. Um, that's coming up. Uh, as soon as we get that done, we'll be putting that back together. Uh, Dad has all the stuff cleaned up for that son of a bitch already. It's ready to go. Everything's painted. He's waiting on paint for the block because this, this Pontiac blue is hard to get a hold of. It's like a silvery looking blue. It's kind of like Robocop the way he looks in part two. He's real blue looking. So, which is cool. I like the movie. I'm a fan. So, plus, I'm going to put this uh, pop riveted skull in one of my vehicles. I'm going to have to make a thing to hang it. I've had this for a couple of months. It is fucking cool looking. I like it. Looks all mechanical. Ooh, it's my skull. That's what my skull looks like. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm um, thinking about hanging it in this 84 out there. I need to put a rear view mirror in it, actually. It fell off. So, yeah, that's that's good. So I could aggravate with that. It's the Goonies. Whoa. So, I'm watching... A little bit of YouTube in here. Bored off my fucking ass because it's raining out. It's raining, raining, raining. My fucking place here is a mess. I actually took some time to clean up the house this morning. Because I didn't want to 
really uh, really didn't have anything to do because I wanted to work on the truck and I I'm not moving this truck out side for it to sit in the rain and water will run in because of the cab over there has got a hole in it I did put foam in there in the roof but it's still leaking I would have to silicone that up I guess I really don't care so I just don't want the floor to eat out the inner rockers uh, on this thing are actually ate up pretty bad I'm going to have to take them out and replace those sometime or I might just say fuck it and just knock them out of there all together and I'll put any other ones in I'll do that that's what I think I'll do so anyway I uh, I should have made a video of me putting the spark plugs in that mercury I changed them the other day um it had those uridium, um, what are they? Motorcrafts. Had the, the uridium motorcrafts. Somebody put plugs in that car once before because those didn't come in that car. Sure, they have motorcraft plugs. They're copper cores. I put auto like copper cores in it except for two cylinders. I had enough copper cores to do six. I had brand new iridiums, same kind. Don't know how the hell I did that. Same kind. Put them in there. Uh, one cylinder gave me trouble. It was let's see one, two. It was number three. Driver side number three cylinder. There was so much trash down in the cylinder or down in the the plug hole. I couldn't get the plug socket on it to even catch catch it to, to pull it up out. It was um, it it was uh, there was a bunch of trash down in there, and I don't know how it got in there around the fucking uh, coil pack because the boot on the coil pack fits pretty tight in there. But whatever, I had to. Spray some WD-40 down in there. Swish it around. Stir it around with, an, uh, with one of these picks. One of these. Run it down in there and stabbed at it. And knocked the shit out of it. Run that fucking shop vac hose down in there. Sucked it out. Tried to suck some of it out. Didn't take it all out. That shop back's a piece of shit. I was disappointed with that because it's new and I bought it down at Lowe's and they were saying bragging how good it was. And I was like, I could stick my pecker in that thing and it probably wouldn't suck me off. But anyhow, that's me. I'm just a filthy motherfucker. That's the shit that I say all the time. But anyhow, we're going to... Uh, well, I got that, and it actually runs better. It gets more gas mileage now. I mean, significant increase. I'm not sure what it was getting before. But I remember when I used to run up to Morgantown, I got 28 miles to the gallon. And then it got a, it developed a miss, and it got worse and worse and worse. I could only go through town, and it, it was so bad. It was so annoying. So I had to put plugs in it. Put them in it, cleared it up. Use my old coil packs because they're like they're like six or seven dollars a piece. I think I don't remember. Might be more, but anyway, that's what I used. And I also I actually had to mow my fucking grass, and I ran out of gas in my lawn tractor. It's a Kohler. So, I got some of the old trusty race gas out and put it in that fucking lawnmower, in that lawn tractor. Ugh. Oh my god, it just ate that shit up. It loved it. It's like, I like giving a horse grain. Boy, it was, 
It was nice. It was swell. And I had a friend of mine give me a couple of parts he had laying around. He's a Ford guy, and he gave me some Chevy stuff that he had. Works on cars for a living. I got this, this uh, sun visor. He had apparently had ordered a sun visor for someone, and he never came and got it. And he had it for years. It's out of a square body 80s model. And it's got four-wheel drive hub locking and shifting instructions. Like they have one of the sun visors. This sun visor is excellent condition. It's brand new. It's in a box. My old fuel cell's full. It's full and happy. Plus it has some race gas in there. I put some in it too. I put a bunch in it. Um, I need to get with my friend. I bought this race fuel off of. I'm going to buy some more off of him. I'm going to buy several off of him. And uh, we're going to uh, feed some of this shit to the Chevelle too. I'm going to see what I can get her to do on some race fuel. It's not souped up to the extreme, but it would be back... Yeah, it's 110 octane. Uh, 110 octane should... Uh, it should eat that up fantastically. Be very nice. Very, very, very yummy for it. It would just love it. I need to get rid of my garbage, too. <laughs> but anyhow, everybody... Kind of sitting over here, fucking around, doing my thing. The old Chevelle needs cleaned up. How fucking dirty it is. So dirty. My car got a nice washing off, my work car. Today is sitting out in this shitty weather. I have a grocery pickup due tomorrow. I'm going to get a fuel cell for this truck out here. Take the factory tank off because it's uh, it's really rusty on the outside. And I'm afraid it's going to rust a hole in it. And it is going to fail one day. But it's going to be bigger than a 12-gallon. When I, I put that fucking 12-gallon in the truck there, and it ain't worth a fuck. It sucks it dry in no time. And I mean, it sucks it dry. I mean, really sucks it dry. So, all right, everybody, I'm going to leave you with some shots of my toddling skeleton, my skeleton toddler, and that right there is a mask, that's a skull mask, I'm put it over my head, put it over my head, I have to take my glasses off, I can't wear my glasses with it, um, and it fits pretty good, since I lost a little bit of weight, it fits real nice as it doesn't look like it's it doesn't look like my head was poured in it put it that way but anyhow we're gonna call this uh another shitty video so I don't know if the Chevelle will start up or not. It may. It may fire. It may not. I have to actually check it to see if the antifreeze leak is gone. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm just going to reach in here. It hasn't been started for about a week. So...
Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't think my truck will do that. Everywhere. <sighs> see if it does or not. I don't think it's going to. But <clears throat> we'll see. Tuned in. Now, this truck here is completely bone stock, except for the aluminum intake and the headers. I guess he's a subscriber. He said that this interior on my truck made him made him all hard. Gave him wood. Maybe it's the Henry sticker. I said I really liked it. So I did paint my steering wheel. I think I already told you guys that shit. Yeah, painted that baby. gauges work and they well obviously they don't you won't have to clear this truck out like you do the Chevelle because just don't have that kind of horsepower so lucky it probably has about 70 at the rear fucking tires <laughs> but yeah I want to get rid of these fucking wheels I just don't like how they look on here. Um, those other ones on the on the porch truck, they are going to stick out a little bit. Um, they got a nice deep dish to them. They got a set of 33s on it. So you're talking a lot more meat. Plus they're an off-road fucking tire too. They're a knobby fucking set of tires. So I'll get my use out of those bad boys. No more than I drive this son of a bitch around. So, anyway, I'm watching Joe and this other guy. This is an old horsepower TV thing or, or muscle car or whatever. I'm doing the Challenger. Whatever. So, folks, that's all I got. Unless it clears up. Over the weekend here, I might have another ride-along Chevelle video. If it's going to be nice tomorrow afternoon, I will do it. If not, maybe next Friday because I am off. I'm off next Friday too. Um, I never complained about working all that overtime because, you know, it pays me good to work every time. Every time is key to survival these days. Um, back years ago when I worked 40 hours a week, I didn't have any overtime hardly and I made a damn good living, but everything didn't cost as much. I didn't make as much money, but everything wasn't insanely expensive. So not like it is today because everybody's for some reason has to have their piece of the pie and they want to hit us hard with high fuel prices 
And then whenever you get high fuel prices, everything else follows. Remember that, everybody. Remember next time how you vote. If you don't like high energy prices and you don't like high grocery bills, vote accordingly. Because if you can vote these assholes that are making this happen out of office next time, do it. That's one thing you got to keep in mind. A lot of people go to the polls absentmindedly and vote for the wrong people, for the wrong reasons, because they forget why they're there. Unless you're voting for president. People remember that because that's a big one. But, like, your senators and stuff, if you're not getting any satisfaction out of them fuckers, vote those bastards out of there. They're trying to make a living doing that. That's It's it's a career for them, and it shouldn't be. You should have term limits on those people. You should have fresh meat in there every four years. Instead, they make it a point to be in there their whole lives. You should only be able to be, to serve a maximum of eight years like a president. After that, hit the fucking road. Be a mayor or a governor or some shit. You old bastards. Get your motherfuckers out of there. Anyhow, that's all I have. Just had something more interesting to fucking bitch about or say or anything. Uh, beware of the scammers. They're everywhere today. Everywhere. There's so many goddamn scammers, I can't keep track of them all. So anyhow, everybody, have a good weekend. Uh, if you're in the Northeast, you're in for a wet one. But, uh, it's April 28th. Or 29th. 28th. 28th, I think. It's not important. May is ready to start. And it's going to be a slow one for me. So, but anyhow, everybody, like, share, comment, subscribe. Have a good one. Enjoy your weekend, everybody. See you on the next one.